Okay, so as you can see, I'm installing OS X. And I'll tell you why, and of course, oh yeah, the camera doesn't like to focus on that, so I'll have to turn on a manual focus for the second part of the video. I'll tell you why I'm doing it, and why that computer is in target disk mode. The OS X 4 disk that I have, which is a Tiger for those of you that don't know, what does it say? It says it is built in FireWire and yippee do. It needs a 600 megahertz or a faster G3 processor. This one meets that requirement. It meets the minimum for that. It exceeds the um. Uh, let's see, where does it say DVD? There we go. It is a DVD. This machine has a CD-ROM drive, not a DVD-ROM drive, so it can't read the disk, and that was why I wasn't able to install OS X, and I thought this machine was broken forever. I was wrong, and it turns out that um, I was doing some research online, and I was able to boot this up into target disk mode. Well, I tried doing this in target disk mode, and then trying it on that, and then it kept freezing at 59% of the writing based system files. I'm only installing the system files. I'm not installing anything else. Because I figure I'll save as much disk space as possible. But, um, so then I tried the other way around and I was able to get around that, um, call it a, a bug. But of course, for whatever, for, for whatever reason, this camera does not like to focus on this, um, computer. It focuses fine on the other iMac. It does not work for this one. And I might be able to know why, because this CRT is actually starting to lose focus a little bit. And it's starting to pin cushion. So the CRT in this one's obviously getting weak and old. Even though this one is actually perfectly fine, except for the fact that if I reset it to factory default, it tilts a little bit doesn't tilt that much, but it tilts. So when this is finished, I'll show you the finished product. So the computer will automatically restart. So here's the moment of truth. Did it work? Or is it just going to boot from the CD again? I'm going to hit the option key. See what it does. Okay. So uh, let's boot it up from uh, this. It's going to start looking for disks. That disk that it's selected right there is not going to go too well because that is the um, disk, that's the FireWire disk on this machine. And the computer, or the camera, keeps adjusting the focus, even though it should not be. Because, of course, I have this set to manual focus. Let's boot it from... Let's try, uh... Oh, actually, you know what? Let's try this drive and see what happens. Oh, guess what? Here comes the Apple logo. I don't know how well the boot process is going to go. I don't know if the boot process is even going to work. But let's see. It's doing something. You can hear it clicking over the CD drive. It's thinking. Oh, here it comes. Preparing to be started by the first time is what Windows tells you. Definitely really slow.
and we come to a um, spinny rainbow icon. Let's see what comes next. It's doing something. Oh yeah, the welcome screen. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, I'll enter all this stuff. Okay, so after that, this monitor is out of focus. You can tell it on the camera, too. I can't get the camera to focus cleanly, and in person this monitor is out of focus, and in fact, I can see the refresh. I'm just going to select other. Don't ever do that because I'm not even online. No. Oh. Hasn't forced me to sign up for a .Mac yet. Oh well, would you look at that? It didn't force me to sign up for a .Mac. I actually thought it was going to. And here comes the desktop. And here comes the computer. Fresh after a clean install. I'm going to have to get some of this stuff out of here. I don't have nearly enough space on this table. I should now eject that disc from the other machine. And so I can put that away. When he lets me. And here we go. Try and get it into as much focus as possible. It is a 10 4, 600 megahertz power PCG3, and 640 megabytes of memory. Now I'm going to launch uh, this software update, which should work because I was just able to connect to the internet using Safari through Firewire. So we'll see if it'll connect to the uh, database and get me my updates. So we're going to download and install these updates. And um, we will hopefully be updated then. I'm just going to ask me for my password. Read all of this. It's going to start downloading from my FireWire, so it's not going to be the fastest of all things. I wish I could get it to stop with this refresh, but actually, I think I can. That's going to take hours to do. Yeah, that got it to mostly stop. Although I don't really appreciate having things this huge. And 
now you can see the screen for the most part. I'm going to just set it back here. Change the uh, brightness and the contrast for the camera. Or, you know what? Screw you guys. So it's going to slowly download those updates and install them. And uh, that'll be that. Okay, so I decided to hit cancel on the updates because it was taking forever, so now I'm going to shut it off. And that concludes this video on the rebuild process of the iMac G3 350. 350. G3 600. I'm going to always make that mistake. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. I hope to see you next time. Till then. Oh, and one more thing. I decided I'm going to show you the original specs. Because even I don't know what was in this thing originally. I do know that it's a 400 and it was a 450 with uh, probably about 256 megabytes of memory and uh, a max their hard drive don't know what size but let's figure it out for ourselves here so it was a indigo 350 with a 64 megabytes of memory a 7 gigabyte hard drive CD-ROM 128p I don't know what that is but a 56k modem 128p. That might be the catch. I don't know what, exactly what that is. But under here, this is a RAM door. That's the RAM door. That's how you replace the memory. Underneath this is a VGA port. So that's If the screen dies, I can easily just plug in another one. No big deal. And so, that's just about it. So because it's worth showing, I'm going to show you the ports, in addition. This is the, uh, that's the microphone, and then another headphone output. There are actually two on the front. I can uh, flip this machine up. There are uh, two right on the front, right there. Along with the CD-ROM. Uh, then you've got the two FireWire, which was not present on the original board. In fact, I'll get out the original board now. So here's the original board itself. You can compare that. You can see this is the original 350. It does not have the FireWire. This one does. But you can see the reset and the uh, programmer. Just like it is on this. And you also got your USB, your modem, and your Ethernet. And so, that should be all. And one final thing, you can tell that this is the added memory. The, um, that's a 512. Then this is this original 64. So finally, that is all. So, now you can leave your comments below. And, uh, well, till then, enjoy your iMac.